there was nobody home. Lawyers for the Flood Tribunal continue to write to Jim Kennedy in Gibraltar, but he has another offshore home. About 15 years ago, Kennedy purchased a property in the Isle of Man, a location also favoured by his advisor, John Caldwell. Other associates, Liam Lawler and George Redmond, banked their money here. This financial centre has been a magnet for those who want to hide away cash in a low-tax environment. This is Jim Kennedy's €4 million Euro offshore home in the Isle of Man. The setting for his self-imposed exile is pastoral. Security and privacy are obvious priorities. And this is where Primetime met up with Mr Kennedy. Hello, Mr Kennedy. James Kennedy, Kevin Rafter from Ortiz Prime Time. Yes. May I ask you um, why you're refusing to cooperate with the Flood Tribunal? No comment. Are you going to cooperate at all with the, the Flood Tribunal? Have you any intention of going back to Dublin to give I'm answer to answer no, questions? I'm answering you no questions. Stand. You've had correspondence from Mr. Fergus Flood asking you I'm to come back on no several questions. occasions. Stand. Is there anything you, you, you have to say? You want a proper photograph? Like, no. It is. Did you bribe councillors to get planning permission for lands in Dublin? You'll soon cheek, haven't you? Thanks for me there. That's what the, tri the, the tribunal would like to ask you that. Yeah. Relationships between yourself and John Caldwell and Liam Lawler. You business the relationship with Mr. Lawler. None of your business, what I have. Oh, you would ask me my business. Who put you in charge? Who Just are you? Kevin Rafter from Ortiz. Un unconscionable oh. what the questions are asking. Unconscionable. Absolutely. Look, you know all that. Why are you asking me for? I, I don't, you see. Oh, well, I find out know. for yourself. I'm not here to educate you. You're the best man to tell me. No, I tell you nothing. Um, what, what you about? say it best. When you say nothing at all, now fuck her off. What about um, Liam Lawler? Oh, what about him? Ask him what about him. Have you had many dealings with him lately? <laughs> My business, what I have with anybody. Go back to your pal, Frank. I assume you had a, he quite a... For, he worked for RTE. He, he worked for you, quite a close association. He said £25,000 in cash he got in an amusement uh, arcade from story. you. You, th you, you don't accept it. Never did. Never did. Would you say Mr. Donnellap hasn't helped told the truth? He says he, you gave him money and that you that's asked councillors to be bribed. I not say nothing to you anymore with your man. Only a fool. You need to comment about a gangster, you know? Mr. Dunlop? Yes. You would put it that strongly? Oh, terribly strong, yeah. He licked millions from people, hasn't he? Oh, hey, hey. The, the tribunal has given a lot of space and time to Frank Dunlop to mm -hmm. articulate his recollection of meetings with you, money and cash. And with that, we left Jim Kennedy and the Isle of Man.